What's up guys, Bloodshed here. Today I'm gonna answer a question I get on stream all the time. How do you farm puzzle rings? How do I get puzzle rings blood? Now this tip is gonna work for any season, no matter what, but specifically in season 25, we have these juiced up soul shards and we get augments from them. So when you get to tier three, you can use them in the cube, just like a normal augment, right? So it just takes the level three gem. You can use any tier gem actually but it takes three flawless gems in addition to the soul shard gem and whatever ancient weapon you have this is not an ancient weapon. And we have easy 125 augments. So if you're watching this in a future season, get jealous. But anyway, we burn lots of gems. So quick breakdown, the best way to farm gems is to run puzzle rings, put a basic gem in your helmet, that way it duplicates it. If you're playing season 25, it will not work if you have one of these soul shard gems in your helm. So just specifically for vaults or for T16, we actually don't need the power for T16 or vaults. Go ahead and put one of these in there if you want to get more gems per hour. But again, how do we get those puzzle rings, blood? So I'm gonna cover the best method on how to get those pesky puzzle rings. There's a few ways you can go about this. You can run with friends, speed farm, and then everybody has some potluck puzzle rings to put into the mix. So everybody throws in like five puzzle rings, you know, and then now instead of five, now you have 20 because you're running them together like a community thing. But let's say you don't have any friends or let's say, you know, you want puzzle rings now. Nobody's getting drops in your group and you need them as soon as possible. Well, the main tip you can do is make a level 31 alt. Now, I named him Puzzle for a reason because he's just my puzzle ring alt. So I'm gonna head over here to Kadala. I use a witch doctor, but I'll go through all the classes you can use, right? So the thing is with some classes, there's only three possible outcomes with rings. So there's like a... Broken Promises ring, there's a Leoric Signet, and I hope we get one in the video, and a puzzle ring, right? And let's keep rolling here, just empty the whole clip on it. So happy we got it in the video. <laughs> Would have been awkward. So check it out, if you roll rings at level 70, there's a boatload of rings, right? Like 20 something, right? So by making a character level 31, you're severely limiting the item pool, and now you only have a one in three chance here. You can see there's a Broken Promises, which we got, Leoric Signet, or the puzzle ring. Now it can't be ancient, but it works the same as a level 70 puzzle ring when you put it in the cube, so you still get the same effect, right? At some point, you're not gonna need blood shards that much, right? So if you're at that point in the season where you need gems and you don't really need the blood shards, or you don't need to roll them for an alt, might as well dump them on puzzle rings because the first thing I promise you that you're gonna run out of are gems this season. Like, the embers start to roll the faster you speed farm. These are, embers is what you use to upgrade, you know, your soul shards. In the beginning, the soul shards are hard to get because you're leveling, right? And then once you get the soul shards, then you need embers, right? And then the embers are hard to get. And then once you have both of these rolling in like really fast, eventually you have infinite soul shards basically. And then the embers, and then you're like, wait a minute, now I don't need to have enough gems to even support the embers and the soul shards. So this is where I'm going to be rolling. People are going to ask questions, so I want to make a video to help you guys out. Obviously, you can take level 70. It costs gems, so that's kind of weird, but you can craft rings and upgrade. But again, we talked about there's a lot of options at 70. So you have only a low chance to get what you need. You know, let's say you need a ring anyway, then maybe go for it. Definitely just farm and loot share is a nice alternate way. But if you want a way to try to force spawn these puzzle rings into the game, this is what I would do. Make level 31 alts. Let's cover the different classes you can make. So Demon Hunter has a 1 in 3 chance. You can make a Demon Hunter alt at level 31. Just park him or her there and you'll be good to go. Let's go to Barb. Barb has 4 options, so you'd be severely limiting. Right now it's 1 in 4 instead of 1 in 3. Um, Wizards 4. Witch Doctor, of course, is 1 in 3. So right now we got Demon Hunter, Witch Doctor, and Monk also. So Demon Hunter, Witch Doctor, and Monk, one in three chance. And Crusader, one in three chance. And Necromancer, one in four, right? So logic would dictate we go Seder, Witch Doctor, Monk, or Demon Hunter if you want a one in three chance to get those puzzle rings. I have a link to this calculator on my website. It's under the seasonal start guide section. We have tons of stuff here, builds, 
I'm going to keep them updated throughout the life cycle of the season. Starter guides, level guides, all the guides, you know, way to get soul shards easy. So definitely check out the website, bloodshed.com. If the video helped you out, I would appreciate a like on the video as I do take time and it helps me out tremendously against the YouTube algorithm. I've had a great season so far. I hope you guys have as well. Um, we got Frenzy Barb to 128 and then we hit Witch Doctor rank one a couple times this weekend so that was a lot of fun pushing on doc those are gonna be my two mains and then i'm gonna make a monk today on stream i'll be streaming um all season long twitch.tv slash bloodshed i hope to see you guys there i'll probably see a lot of you later today this is bloodshed and i'm out of here peace